Hey guys, Quirty Avery here for Random Drive episode 10. I can definitely confirm it's episode 10 as in the previous episode. Uh, in the previous episode, which was episode 9, I was thinking, where am I? Am I episode 7, 8, 9, 10? I can confirm this is 10 and the previous one was 9. And uh, we're back for some more Random Drive and uh, let's get just straight into it really. Uh, the shoutouts go to Train EF and Enterprising Rail Films. That's again Train EF and Enterprising Rail Films. Their links and stuff will be down below. Show them some love. I've been having a bit of a problem with Random Drive, guys. I think I've stumbled on a little thing of like a uh, Random Drive block. You know, like someone gets writer's block or, you know, whatever kind of block. I think I've come to a bit of a Random Drive block where the random button isn't really working to like how I want it to work. Where you can see right now, this combination is sort of okay, I guess. Like it's a qu it's a cool train that probably I will never play as a normal scenario, even though I tried to before. But the scenario where I wanted to show you this, but it, it was going to be like an AI only. It wasn't going to be like a me driving or anything. But the AI didn't work. But something that, like random drive can really bring out some of these trains, which I probably won't drive anytime soon or whatever. And this will be a cool one, but then it just you know it South London network, and that's you know not really that. That random it's just a 378 that looks a bit like a London Underground train but that that was a combination but it's not gonna be the one we're gonna drive today but I'm gonna impose something new for the random drive series which I think you guys actually might like uh, if the random button is not giving me you know the kind of combinations I really want to see uh, I might uh, well actually no I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say might. I'm actually gonna you know have this as a kind of cool little thing for you guys to join in with this series so from now on from this random drive episode uh, onwards uh, you can comment down below like wherever you comment generally but also if you want to comment on a combination that you want to like a, a combination idea that you want me to drive on random drive so instead of me using the random button well I'll, use, I'll try and use the random button first but if I feel that the random buttons not really getting anywhere I'll then maybe take a, a suggestion from the pool of your like uh, submissions in the comment uh, section below from random drive episodes and just like go with that because I'm sure everyone has like cool ideas of okay can you drive that train on that route from this station to this station and I think you guys are probably going to be better than the random button because the random button's a bit it's a bit sick it needs a bit of lens sip or neurofen or something like that but I've been noticing it. it's just been annoying I can't, I can't find that golden combination like you know the you know the Eurostar one I had with on the Frankfurt over that was really funny and it's just I haven't been really feeling it really now I've been I've recorded actually a few takes of just starting the beginning of this episode and I've been trying different combinations and I just didn't really feel that any were really hitting the mark for me and just like yes I want to do that I'm like oh but most of them either either what I've been noticing is that the South London network pops up all the time I don't know why I don't know this random button has like some sort of fetish for the South London network which I would because it's my favorite route but I want other things I have loads of other routes and also I have loads of other train combinations with different reskins and different variants and stuff like that it needs to shuffle through more of it instead of all the kind of simple ones and I'm just repeating it but anyway that's my kind of little there suggestion so from now on from this episode you can comment down below and tell me a wacky random combination that you would like me to like what train variant or whatever that I have it has to be first so you can suggest it and then I'll probably I wouldn't say if I can do it or not or whatever I'll just use a random one whenever I want to use one and if it if if your suggestion has everything that I have then your suggestion might be played anyway other than that let's uh, see if this random button will give us something cool because you know I wonder what random algorithm they use or whatever and I, I don't know I wonder if it's actually a legit random algorithm or whatever because I sometimes feel it isn't but I don't know it might just be really bad kind of you know uh, it just might just be ra ran random guesses really just really bad random guesses and selections or whatever anyway let's uh, D to the E to the L to the U to the X to the E to the time I forgot the countdown you know I, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore with this countdown like I'm just gonna click to where I feel I'm not looking at the screen I'm just kind of just clicking 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 and stop and this is what I mean look at that class 456 on the South London Thames Inc and what did we start off with South London Thames Inc and it's dropped me back onto the <laughs> 
Right, click a little bit more. Come on, we have to have something good. Come on, three, two, one, and give me it. And is that the South London Thames link again? <laughs> Oh, you little bitch, you are random. You are such a little B-I-T-Z-H. Okay, now we're talking. AP class 320 in the Scott Rail South Tire livery, and uh, it's nine cars, which is, you know, good. Along with the train, I'm not I'm not too bad with that. And we're going to be going from Nula, uh, nu Nulu, Nulu, Nulus, Nulusheim? And get that B is a, a double S, so it's like Nulusheim, or however you pronounce it, to Mannheim Neck Aru. And it's snowy, it's winter snowing, and it's evening ish, which is um, nice. A little bit of a change, which I like. I'll see you guys in a train. Finally, the random button has uh, done us something and given us at least something a little strange and odd. But I'll see you guys in a train. Right, we are in, and. Well, it looks very interesting, I have to say. Well, wow, look at this. Uh, an already bit of a problem I see here. Look at the platform. Look at the platform lengths. Holy shit. Jesus Christ. But it is snowing. Sort of. Like light snow. It's pitch black for like 10 to 8. It's, oh, well, it's winter, obviously. Uh, we are in the lovely 320, which is essentially the free, uh, the 321. Let's uh, set this bad boy up. I don't even know how there's supposed to be an AWS in here, but hey, <laughs> turn off the DRA. We don't really need it because it's all green. Uh, other than that, I don't even know what even here. We just kind of need to put on the night lights to. Uh, night headlight and marker light, which is good because we're in the night. Uh, there's nothing here that I have to really set up except for maybe we can put special 0023 because this is a very special train and a very special map on a very special uh, <laughs> episode of Random Drive. Something's cool. Uh, driver vision system. Uh, no, can we, denable, can we disable that and disable visual alerts? That's fine. And we'll leave it uh, as driver operating uh, the doors or whatever, which is good. I don't mind that. And we'll get back to the positions. It's quite quiet, I have to say. It's very quiet. Uh, I don't believe there's a... We have a nine car train, but there's only an eight or 12. So I'm just going to leave it at an eight. But, you know, hey, what can you do? Because... Scott Rail have to be weird and do nine, uh, nine cars and do their trains in freeze, which is annoying. Anyway, let's open the uh, the doors and see if anyone could actually even reach up here. You need, like, look at the gap. That's crazy. That's ludicrous. And most of this can't open. Let's also turn on the lights in the, in the uh, train. There we go. It was very subtle the way it just came on. There we go, special train, because, you know, we are, we're, we're a special train. I need to take the thumbnail at some point as well. We might do that at, like, some station along the line or whatever. Or maybe, actually, let's... Let's... Actually, I didn't... No, we'll do it at another station. We have 20 kilometers to burn off anyway. Let's also... Let's also go to the back and just turn on the tail lights. No, that's not the tail lights, that's the destination light. Let's turn on the tail lights and let's put the uh, special train, because, you know, we're a special train. There we go. Special. No, I don't want to save. There we go. <laughs> this just looks ridiculous. Anyway, let's close the doors and let's make our way to Mannheim. This is absolutely ridiculous and absolutely bonkers, but hey. Get rid of the brakes. Oh, please don't tell me. We don't. Do we have power? Yeah, we do. Wait. Oh. I'm stupid. I didn't, um. I didn't change back, that's why. There we go. That's fine. 
That's all good, guys. We got we got it under control. Anyway, let's finally depart. There we go. We have traction. We have electricity. Germany has allowed our Scottish train to have electricity. Off she goes, this nine car madness here in in the middle of Germany. 160. <laughs> I don't think this train will get up to 160. That's kilometers. Well, it probably won't get that in miles or kilometers. Anyway, full speed ahead, Captain. Right. Uh, wipers. On. I can't see shit out of here, though. Jesus Christ. I hope we get some AI as well. Wow, this train accelerates. Holy crap. Um, yeah, the uh, instrument light's on. I, I'm fine with that, to be honest. But damn, this train accelerates. Should we stop at Hockenheim? Maybe we should, but on the slow line, and I kind of, I don't know, why do I have an AWS? I don't know, the, the system's all mucked up, we're in Germany, in the Scottish train with AWS and crap and all that, and it's, it's, I feel sorry for it. Anyway, let's, should we stop at Hockenheim? Why not, I suppose. I think what I'll do is I'll stop at one and then miss another, like how I did it in the Frankfurt video. Just so we get have things moving along smoothly. But, you know, it's snowy, it's pitch black. I normally don't do uh, videos in the night time, so this, I guess, is a treat. I should do more videos in the night. People have been saying that I should do uh, uh, night route videos and stuff like that. But, you know, I never really find any kind of good night ones to do. And I do, I do actually have a few that I could do, but... I like I, pre I prefer doing videos in the daytime so people can see some scenery and stuff like that. But I guess it's healthy to do, you know, some night kind of stuff once in a while, if you know what I mean. Anyway, Hockenheim. I hope the the ra the, the the track isn't too slippery because obviously it's snowing. Oh, I hear something to the. No, was that AI? Well, I heard something. I'm not going to go too far. I'm just going to stop where I can. There we go. Was that AI? I heard something. But I didn't see anything. But there is... Ah, yeah. There is this here on this side. There's the high-speed rail on this side while we're here. Anyway, let's open the doors. If I can get my camera working. There we go. Yay, everyone's happy. It's snowing and we're in Hockenheim. Should I do a screenshot somewhere here? Should I do something like this kind of mystical shit? Like have the DB clock there and then just the train to kind of try and fool you off. Ooh. Something like that. I don't know. I don't know what I could do. Maybe we should just wait for Mannheim. Mannheim's going to be the nice kind of station to to do stuff on. Anyway, let's uh, let's get get close and let's get it going. Saint Clair, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Einstein bitter. And we have. Keep remembering that the brake is separate on this train. <laughs> I've gotten so used to dynamic brake and most kind of things that I play now that it's just kind of, you know... It confuses me sometimes. Right, so we're not stopping at the next station, and we're stopping at the station after. To balance things out. Also, to actually talk to you guys also about uh, stuff that's going on with me right now currently, because uh, it is stressful times. You might not think it's stressful or anything for me, but for me it's stressful because obviously I have exams now coming up, and those are going to be much, much fun. 
Uh, so most of the videos, I have an exam, I think, on the, I have, well, I should know, I, well, I do know. I have an exam on the 12th of January and on the 18th of January. And I'm planning to kind of, uh, for the for the first exam, I'm kind of planning to just have a few vid pre-recorded videos so I can just upload them during that time. And then after the 12th, it will be probably very slow for video kind of... Really Why is this train stopped? Okay. Oh no, that's a buffer. Oh crap. Look at me there, questioning logic. Anyway, so... Uh, after the 12th, it'll be very slow for videos until I finish my ex last exam on the 18th. I might do a video in between the 12th and the 18th, but I can't guarantee it. But after the 18th, video kind of videos should resume to normal. So don't expect a lot of videos within these kind of two and a half weeks. And then after the two and a half weeks, we can hopefully get back to a good regular schedule. And then even maybe do more streams and stuff like that as well then. Because I haven't done a lot of streams, but I'm kind of toned down with streams. I kind of, I only do them when I kind of feel like I want to do them really. Because I, I kind of, I've come to the sense that I'm primarily a YouTuber and not really a streamer, to be honest. And I don't want to, you know, sound like I don't like streaming. I love streaming. I love interacting. And that's the only thing, the reason why I do it, to interact with subscribers and whatever and just you know to have that kind of one-to-one -one conversation that I can't have within a video so you know I will do it whenever and uh, I might go back to just doing once every Friday for now and then uh, what once like I finish my exams in January so end of January to like start doing like stuff every Friday or whatever and then anything else extra during the week I'll probably do if I feel up to it or whatever but Best place to, you know, follow for updates, Facebook and the Steam group to get, like, announcements and stuff like that. But, you know, that's it. To be talking about what I'm doing, basically. Um, our train is going bloody fast. I didn't think it would reach this top speed, and we have to slow down to 120 kilometers per hour. Oh, and then <laughs> I love it. So, off to, uh, off, off to Heim, we are not stopping at. We're stopping at... Then the next one, which is just like basically less than a mile apart, uh, Schwetzingen, if that's how you pronounce it, Schwetzingen Bahnsteig. Right, we're below 120, we're gonna nicely pass Oftentime, and I don't even think we can fit in Oftentime, so that's actually a good call, call by me, because I, I knew the length of Oftentime by heart there, not really. <laughs> so. I kind of called it there. I was a bit psychic there, Te you know. I could I teleported there in my mind. I thought, hey, often sounds going to be a bit, bit problematic there for us. Oh shit! I should be slowing down. I was like, yeah, let's do a flyby and then realize like once the flyby's over, I'm probably entering the next station by now. <laughs> anyway, we should be alright, I do believe. Yeah, we'll be okay. So far, only static AI, but it's better than it than having nothing. I remember the previous episode in the North Face Corridor. Oh my lord, we only got like AI at the very end. We only got like one train. Like, you know, thank you, gods of quick drive. You know, thank you for putting that one damn train to, you know, entertain my life. But this is nice, I guess. Right. Quite a long platform as well, which accommodates our unusual nine car. There we go. Does this look, I don't even know if this looks odd, to be honest, this train here. It just looks like uh, just slightly more modern stations that n it normally runs on because like in Scotland most train stations don't look like this new. Right, open the doors and let's go out and have a little look see around. It looks fine. Looks like it's uh, it's been right here all along and that's a little bit better there for the gap I have to say in terms of what we were dealing at the first station where it was just essentially a whole kind of like a hill to climb up to get to the train well this is all right this is doable and it looks good i do like this uh the db clock that's really really cool i really like that 
I only just noticed that in this actual video, just when I was like zooming in, I was like, oh, there's a DB logo. That's quite cool. Anyway, time to close you up, 320, and we can continue on. Right. So, not stopping at the next stop, stop after. Isn't it, I think also with the first x -Scrot Rail, whatever it's now, I think, isn't it first lost the the lease or whatever, now it's Abellio, I do believe? Abellio Scott Rail? So they just basically wiped off this first logo on the doors and just put stuck Abellio there. Right, full power. Oh my god, static AI. I mean, what was I saying, dynamic AI. Where's my head there? It's like it's moving, but it's static. But it's an empty, uh, it's an empty freight train. That's that's beautiful. Give me AI, and you give me just some empty cars. I've also, if you've noticed, if I actually go back to the default camera, I've kind of pulled back the FOV a little bit. Because I've just noticed, like, I've just done it for also the effect on some of the other trains that are a bit more zoomed in. So, for other kind of scenarios that I do, it'll just look better. So, you'll get to see the whole kind of, uh, uh, the whole cab better. I mean, this is a good effort. Well, this train has really nice cameras already. Oh, that was a crossing. I thought that was, like, some sort of PA announcement. I was like, what? <laughs> but, yeah, uh, the, this train has really nice cameras. This is like one of my favourite Armstrong Powerhouse uh, products. Now, the amount of liveries it comes in, it's it's oh lovely. Lovely stuff. Like I remember the release of the uh, the ECML with the standard free to one, which let's be honest, was shocking. And everyone can agree to that. And then this came out and it's just like oh it's so nice. But the free to ones are getting all mismatched now uh, around the whole UK. Uh, the London Midland free to ones are moving to uh, Scott Rail to be formed in free cars. Uh, some of them, two of them, or ever got moved to uh, got moved to where was it? It got moved to London Overground on the uh, Romford to somewhere line, Romford to um, Minister line. I do believe, yeah, I think so, and. Elsewhere, they're getting shuffled or whatever, and then on uh, and, and then replacing the three two ones on the London Midland, they're replacing them with three one nines, which is kind of funny, I have to say. And of all they've done to the three one nines is they've either some uh, some of the units they've painted white, and then they've slapped on a London Midland logo somewhere in the middle, and then other ones like they've kept like especially the southern ones they've kept in the southern livery and just slapped on a London Midland logo, which is just as funny. I think that's pretty much a downgrade, really, for London Midland. They've gone from 321s to 319s, and I personally prefer 321s. Right, we're not stopping here at Mannheim, uh, Rene, Badensteig. We're stopping at the next stop, which I think might be the last stop. Which would have been excellently uh, executed there. We kind of stopped and uh, not stopped at an equal amount of stations, which is pretty cool. Quite a good incident. Jesus, we are flying. And my FPS is crapping down. Because it's... The rendering speed is not fast enough. This is the fastest a 320 has ever gone. And it's not even on British soil. Fantastic. Right, do you believe Mannheim is coming up now? Mannheim, yeah, Nick, Nick, Karu, the Kara. I don't think that's the end. Oh, it's not the really nice big Mannheim station. It's only just this like little pitiful one outside of Mannheim, or on the outskirts of uh, outskirts of Mannheim. That's all good. We will obey. We will stop in time, hopefully. The braking's been actually pretty good, actually, for, for snow. Oh, 
Oh, damn. Uh, we're not slowing down in time. I'm a little worried. I'm not too worried. But, you know, I'm a little bit worried now. 75%. Might even slap on the sander, actually. There we go. That should be fine. We should be able to... Yeah, that's alright. Good brakes. Good job, 320. Or 321. Doesn't really matter what I call it, to be honest. It's technically a 320, 320 but technically it's 321, but... Whatever. <laughs> right, here we go. I need to get a screenshot also, by the way. That's one thing I need to get. Oh, it's oh, it's a it's a short platform as well. It's going to be fun for the passengers to get off. <laughs> I laugh because I'm evil. <laughs> right. Oh crap! That completely failed. Therefore, trying to get a screenshot. Right. Need to be quick about this because it will kick me out of the. Scenario. Something like that is it will be alright, I think. Simple. It'll be blurred anyway, so you guys won't be able to see it. There we go. Oh, just done it in the nick of time there. Well done, you've reached the end of the scenario. Quick dry scenario. Well, there we go. Uh, that somehow worked out. It was sort of random. Uh, it was, you know, nice to just showcase the 320, 321, whatever you want to call it, at a Scott Rail livery in the nine car formation. On the Mannheim to Carl's roof route as well, in the night as well, also different with some snow, which is also good. But as I said at the beginning of the video, I'm going to be starting that new kind of thing with this series where you guys can comment down below and give me, just, you know, comment random wacky suggestions and then if I find like when I'm recording these that like the random button's not working then I'll pull out a random suggestion and we'll do that and try and make them like you know moderate lengths like don't like say do the whole route like which will take like say two hours or whatever to do or something like that just do like say from a certain station to a certain station to make it like like say around half an hour 40 minutes even like yeah 40 45 minutes max like kind of journey so you know but go wild basically go wild with the train go wild with the route go go funky really and it also depends on like if i have the train or not and also the route but i'll only pick the ones that have that i have the actual route and train to do actually the combination so i won't be replying to any of these suggestions that you guys do in the comments down uh, below i'll be replying to just normal comments but just you know you can you can comment down those kind of things and i'll see them and then i'll pick them if i want to uh if the random button is giving me a bit of a headache anyway uh i hope you enjoyed episode 10 it was a bit interesting a bit uh, long there with the random uh, selecting a random route there but you know what i mean that's why i'm doing this thing where you guys can suggest stuff and make the random drive series a bit more you know interactive with you guys where you guys can get involved and give me your wacky suggestions or whatever anyway the shout outs go to train ef and Enterprising Rail Films. That's again, Train EF and Enterprising Rail Films. Their links and stuff will be down below. And I hope you enjoyed episode 10. I will see you guys in episode 11, which I don't know where it would be because obviously I said I wanted to do this weekly, but because of exams, it might be a bit pushback. But I'll see you in episode 11 or in another video. Take care, guys. See you next time. We ain't never given